Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to show you, show you how to uh, dismantle, uh, this is a Samsung 40 inch uh, smart TV. I'll just zoom into the label for you here so you can see what it is. You can see the model number is uh, UE40NU7122K <clears throat> and um, so looking at the back of this telly there are no screws anywhere the stands have been removed they're just two feet that screw in there they're already removed from this but apart from that there isn't any more screws anywhere so I'll start showing you how you take this apart um, pretty much the back just pries off around all of the edges uh, let me show you okay so So when you look at the telly, I'm trying to get a bit closer up for you, so <clears throat> so this is the back of the telly, the lip you need to, to prise apart is here. So you basically push push that apart. Let me show you. <clears throat> so that's the back of the telly. This is one of the top corners, and that's sort of the front of the telly. Then the lip, the lip to prise apart is on the back side, really. So if I just show you that, hold on. I'm going to use this butter knife in that in the gap there. Just press that. Being very careful, of course. You just basically do it all the way around. And that's the front. That's actually the screen you have to be very careful that's the screen so it that's that's actually the screen the coming off so Probably easier, as you can see, actually to put it put it on its back, and it's this is bringing the front the front uh, the front bit off the front outer edge off. I've, I've been into this TV already, so this is the second time I've taken this apart. Um, and it's a non repairable one, so I'm only salvaging it for parts now. Which is why I'm not being quite so 
delicate with this part of it. And um, <clears throat> you probably would want to be a bit more delicate than that, or is it? <laughs> if you probably have like a rather than a butter knife, you might want to use this plastic flat edged tool that you can use to pry the plastic apart, okay? I'm just using that for, for quickness. So now that is the that is the front of that off completely. I think that she's been attached by a wire here, hold on. that actually one never snapped off of there yeah one never snapped off so you have to be be careful when you do that you can see now now this reveals this reveals the actual LCD screen And uh, these are all the the um, connections that are joined to that screen. So you're going to have to be careful how you flip this over. I'm going to flip the entire thing over in one go. Put it back on its front face down like that. And now I want to take the back off with you. Uh, so I did this last time. quite hard to get that off it will come off like I said there's no screws they're all like plastic plastic clips clips on the back of that you can see where they clip on so you've got these basically all around the edges and then some in the middle and they'll see popper in to this sort of wire cable thingy there but now we've got access to the entire back of that let's just take a look at some of these components so like I say if you were fixing this properly you would probably want to be leaning on uh, a like a cover or something soft and then you don't scratch the screen Take a look at some of the components in the back here. So we have a label there. Samsung. There's a barcode and some uh, numbers on there. So we've also got the power power input there, which comes along to the the main board, and there is basically. I zoom out there is only that one board for this telly that's just that and you've got your ribbon cables that can go to 
both sides of the the screen. Uh, so now let's just go through and take this apart. Um, you have the speakers as well, which are just here. These just literally pop out. You lift them. They pop out with these little blue tabs. Quite nice little speakers those. Need to remove those. Lift them up and then just unplug them. Actually just put them aside. Now you've got this metal piece along the bottom. Uh, I think you need to remove a couple of screws first. So there's some screws here holding that piece on. We need to come along. There's another two there. And then, not quite sure what that part is. Oh, that's the Wi Fi transmitter there. That just literally lifts up out of the way. Unplug that. Get it. <clears throat> That's the cable attachment for the remote control sensor on the front, which I damaged slightly. But I'm not worried about that. Right, let's get a screwdriver and undo those two. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, those are all done now. So these bits of metal just come out. So that means you can now lift this long piece out, which is, uh, goes all the way from one end to the other. you remove that there's sort of little little metal tabs they sort of slot underneath like one there and there and then a couple more then you sort of lift it and pull it that way actually more also, you, they're held on by these plastic tabs. You see that, and then you need to lift them as you go, push them backwards, and then it releases it. <coughs> So that's getting out of the way now. There's a piece of wire I don't need. And now you can see the, the boards that join onto the actual LCD panel. Uh, you can undo them by flipping the, the levers for the ribbon cables. You just flip them like that and then you can pull them out. 
obviously being extremely careful all the time because all of these items all of these items are very delicate so you don't want to damage them if you're replacing say LEDs behind the screen I'm just going to take these off here as well of course there's a lot of tape holding things down so just un untape those bits So now, these are, these boards are sort of tucked in under these tabs, so you can move them, there's a bit of tape holding them down as well, just take the tape off, Okay, so you need to lift, actually there's a little tab, but there's also a little metal notch which stops you moving it back. So you need to lift it and then slide it back like that. There we go. See, they're, they're not put together quite the same way they used to be. There used to be lots of screws and things holding things together. Now it's very sim much, much simpler to take these apart. It's hardly any screws. In fact, there's no screws holding the back of this one at all. <laughs> right, so now that is, uh, that's unattached and now that's loose. But these are so fragile that you can hear like they're made of plastic. But they contain all the connections between, between the board and the LCD screen. So if even one of those little bits break, then you're going to have bits of missing picture or no picture so so in this screen's case something hit it and it was it was cracked somewhere but I, it's a very small crack in one of the corners so the screen doesn't look like it's cracked at all but it doesn't work or one side of it does work the other side doesn't so it's sort of beyond repair but it's a good good uh, candidate for a teardown like this to show you right so that's all off of there now <clears throat> so now if I lift the if I lift the telly up basically that's going to leave behind the LCD screen I'm going to try and do that so you can see it as I do it I have to excuse my camera skills because I'm using my phone in one of those little holders with legs on it <laughs> Right, if I lift that, and I'm lifting it from the sides, that's leaving the screen behind. It's also leaving part of the uh, light diffuser as well. Let's lift that out of the way. Try and keep it together. Now. There you have the screen all on its own. And then of course if you're handling these, they're pretty fragile. This one's actually damaged in this corner. All it took was that corner damage and uh, half the screen wouldn't work because of that. You wouldn't think it, because the rest of the screen is fine. But unfortunately, that's that's not going to work anymore. But there we go. So that is the screen. And now let's look at the, the panel behind which has got all the LEDs and 
Now that's in it. Okay, so now we're looking at the the, uh, the light panel for this telly, and uh, you can see we've got a few layers. This is the, uh, the this would be the top of the TV. That would be the bottom of it. So that's the sort of way round we're facing. So there's a layer first of all, which uh, they all just have these little tabs. And you've got a shiny surface on the bottom side and a matte surface this side. That might help you to get it the right way around if you take it off. So that's come that's come out first. Next we have a quite a thick layer of light diffusing material here. And different on either side it is sharp yes it does so it's, it's got a matte surface on the front and it's got a shiny surface on the back or glossier surface so that's the which way around it goes so it was, there was like a little tab holding that in Okay, now now we've got a light diffusing surface here, and I think there are tabs around the edge of this. This hasn't got rear back LEDs, I think so it might be side lit, so I haven't seen that yet. Okay, so yeah, so we can get a knife in there and pry them apart. You can see there are little tabs basically all around it, and uh, you want to be more careful than I am with it because uh, it will snap otherwise. And I'm just doing this for quickness. Okay, so taken that piece of plastic off all the way around and that light diffusing material is next to come out it's got a very strange kind of surface to it have in the back of that is a white sheet of uh, reflective material just smooth on the back and, and rough textured on the front 
Behind that is just the back of the TV panel. And your LEDs are at the bottom. There's a strip along the bottom there. I'm going to take this piece of paper and you can see them there. strip that runs there so from that end there's a connector there a bit of wire that goes from one side to the other and there's another row so it's actually two strips of LEDs there's just there's a sort of join in the middle I can zoom in a bit more on that for you so you can see it. There's a join. So there's a split there. So there's two two halves for these. Uh, I imagine these just yeah, these just I stick a knife in there. It comes away pretty easily. It's like a little lip there. So it's not like the teddies where you've got multiple rows of those big round LEDs, it's completely different. So there's one of those LED strips and uh, just prising them off. Do you have to be careful that they are glued as well in places so it's a little bit tricky to to pry them off where that glue is. I don't want to damage them as they come off. But there we go, that's one of them. So you've got uh, and zoom in on the, the mm, writing on it. Hold on. So you've only got all you've got in this entire telly, this is a 40 inch telly, and you've just got two strips of LEDs in there. Okay, so this is after after disconnecting both of those strips of LEDs. I've just plugged them back in quickly. I want to make sure that they are still fully lighting up where I've pried them off. Prior to selling them, of course. Um, there's nothing left of this telly now. As you can see, that's, that's, this is the screen side and this is the back side. I've left the board in just for the moment and it's still got its electrical power socket on it. I've just plugged it into the wall and this is just, to, like I said, just to check those LEDs still work. Um, so I'm just going to switch it on now. Bear in, bear, uh, bear in mind it's going to be very bright in a, in a second. Right, I've switched it on. probably flash a few times but you can see all of those LEDs wow that's so bright <laughs> it's really really bright but yeah they all work all of those LEDs I'll switch that off oh that was bright so I can say that they are 100% working okay all that's left now of this telly is that bit I just took that off of there that just literally slide that's the power socket it's just literally slides slides backwards off there like that. and 
and then then the last thing left is just the main board uh, still the one thing pl left plugged into it is the the wires that go to the lights leds on the other side so if i plug those See this uh, the board slides basically it's got legs similar to the similar to the other bit it just literally slides off it's got a little slot there a slot there one there uh, and one there so it's got four slots that sort of slides back that way somehow there's a bit of plastic there that comes off it just slots on there you go you see it just slid and now there you go board is off I won't touch any of the I won't touch the big capacitor there 450 volts because I've just had it on <laughs> and there might still be 450 volts sitting in there so I won't touch the back well I can't anyway it's covered with a covered with a bit of plastic but I won't touch that bit so there we go so if you found any of that useful please like and subscribe to the channel it always helps and um, check out some of my other videos I've got some other TV ones I've put up there and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time bye bye